there are many chromium based web browsers on the internet like edge brave vivaldi and opera but most of them claim to be better than chrome which doesn't transform your browsing experience so whenever you use them you'll jump right back to chrome this isn't what we want right well if you're not living under a rock you must have heard about a modern web browser for mac which aims to change the way you browse the internet and that's our for you now that i've sparked your interest here is how you can install and use the arc browser on your mac first things first you need to download the arc browser on your mac to install arc you'll need to download the installer from arc's website which is linked in the description below now click the big download arc button and if you are on safari it might ask you to allow the download or any other browser for that matter just click allow and the download should begin once you have downloaded just click to open it or you can go to your finder downloads and just double click to open it you will see this thing now drag and drop the arc icon into your applications folder right next to it it's asking me to replace but i've already installed it so i won't allow it for now let's just use the stop button uh, and that's it you have installed arc on your mac now you can open it from the launchpad application folder or spotlight like me Arc will greet you with this beautiful welcome screen. Now just click the next button and you must create a free account to sync your browsing data across devices. I already have an account in Arc so I'll just click sign in and fill in the details then click sign in again. Moving forward, Arc offers you a quick tour to showcase its features. You can click through it or skip it if you are comfortable exploring on your own, actually. First of all, Arc's interface is clean and clutter-free. You must have already noticed the sidebar. It houses your tabs, pins, library, but Arc goes beyond basic browsing. To search or go to a website, just click this uh, new tab button on the sidebar or simply press command and T on your keyboard to bring up the address bar. By default, it searches using Google, but you can change it to your preferred search engine from the settings. Here is a bold trick. Uh, let's say if you want to search on YouTube for cute dog videos or geek champ traditionally you would open youtube.com then click the search bar cute dog videos and uh, then hit search to see the search results right but with R you can start typing youtube.com Hit tab, type your search term, and hit enter. Voila, Arc saved you a couple of steps. Nice, right? Okay, now if you want to copy the URL, what to do? Easy, you can simply click the link icon in front of the URL to copy. Or way better, just use the command shift C keyboard shortcut. Your URL will be copied and you can directly share from this icon right here. Wait, 
there's more to it. If you want to organize your tabs, Arc has spaces. Well, spaces is just short for workspaces. So to access them, at the bottom of the sidebar, click the plus button and select new space. You can then uh, create any space name, let's say I'm just using test, give it any color. Let's say I uh, choose yellow. And then you can also create profiles if you want and then hit create space. That's it. There is your new space. You can switch between these spaces from the bottom of the sidebar and you can even further customize them by right clicking on them and let's say I want to change the icon to any emoji or even some pre-built icons like this paw maybe cute dogs besides rearranging tabs is quite easy with R you can just drag these tabs and place them wherever you want or you can drag your favorite tabs to the top of the sidebar to pin them you can see that here geekchamp.com is pinned. You can also select uh, multiple tabs and then put them into a folder. Just hold the command key and select the tabs that you want to add to the folder. Right click on them and select new folder with the number of items you have selected. Here you go. You can just name them anything you want. This will go under the spaces name for better organization here it's called space one for some reason uh, so this i'll just call it test you can just collapse these folders or expand them whenever you want speaking of dragging you can drag and drop one tab over another to create a split view like this and if this is not enough you can add one more tab you see triple view here is one more interesting thing. If you're using any other app and let's say you want to do a quick Google search or open a website, simply press command option end to bring up the address bar anywhere. And you can also browse here if needed. For instance, I want to search for stray the game. Uh, I'll just hit enter. It will open in a short uh, window where I can browse everything and even vis visit websites here right away. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything as well. And once done, I can just close them right away. And if you want to import your password, bookmarks and history from another browser, R will also guide you through the process. You can just follow that. These were just a few of the amazing features that Arc offers on macOS. If you want to learn more about it and its features, you can head over to this blog post. Uh, the link will be provided in the description below. You can just click and go to it. You will find all the other features and how it's different from Chrome and all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to GeekChamp for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of ARC and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay connected.